It's my understanding that the traffic count here is almost 53,000, and, and that's a lot of cars. And uh, also, I believe because of Fort Meade, NSA, uh, Cyber Command, all the other, other groups that are here, that it's probably the largest employer in the state of Maryland right now in, in one, one area. So if we're, going to make, if we're going to make this the area that we need to be, the area that's going to protect our national security and our families and our community, to find out what the bad guys are doing. You know, if we're going to do that, we've got to give people the resources and to be able to do their job. And that includes coming here and leaving here. Something that solves, helps to solve the biggest problem, I think, in Anne Arundel County, according to most residents, is that we've grown a lot, but we haven't built the infrastructure to handle all the growth. And so this is the infrastructure that, we're ta that people talk about when they say that. Um, to get the cars moving, 175 we hear a lot about and uh, I'm sure we'll continue to hear about, but this is a real, this is real progress. This $15 million project is much more than just a, a new access control point though. It moves us one step closer to achieving our goal of making Fort Meade the installation of choice by demonstrating our intent to modernize our infrastructure. The 57,000 service members and DOD civilians that protect our nation and our nation's allies deserve this and much more. It benefits you and your constituents by reducing traffic congestion along 175 that hopefully will also reduce traffic accidents and increase our public safety. But more than anything, this project is another clear example of the area's ongoing development. COVID may have shut things down, but it has not stopped our region from continuing to prosper.